the entire father of Meghan Markle Samantha Markle, Thomas Markle's half-sister, and other statements regarding her. Thomas Markle, Meghan Markle's estranged father, and Samantha Markle, her half-sister, have been vocal about her since their relationships with Prince Harry began in 2016. Thomas and Samantha most recently criticized Meghan after she responded to their frequent criticisms of her in an interview with CBS in March 2021. I grieve a lot, the Suits alum confessed during the conversation. I mean, my dad passed away. I lost a child. I almost forgot my name. There is, after all, the loss of identity. She's pretty much ghosted all of her family, on both her mother's side and mine, Thomas said in an interview with Good Morning Britain. She therefore had no one to turn to. If she had kept us, she would have had us. Everybody makes errors. Following Meghan's CBS tell-all, Samantha talked with Inside Edition about her connection with Meghan. She stated that being depressed was not a valid justification for using people as trash and discarding them. During the CBS interview, Meghan did not spend much time talking about her connection with her father or half-sister. She commended her mother Doria Ragland in a supplementary clip from the debate, claiming that she remained in silent dignity for four years watching me go through this, in reference to criticism from Thomas, Samantha, and the public as well as from the British media. The former senior royal said the palace did not shield her from these assaults. She even claimed that the palace was perpetuating falsehoods about her and Prince Harry, 36, citing a rumor that she had made Duchess Kate cry before their May 2018 nuptials. In the interview, Meghan claimed that the Duchess of Cambridge had actually made her cry. She also claimed that although Kate later apologized, the palace failed to clarify the situation. During his first marriage to Rosalind Lovelace, which ended in 1973, Thomas welcomed Samantha and his son Thomas Markle Jr. Ragland, the yoga instructor he married in 1979, gave birth to Meghan two years later. In 1987, Thomas and Ragland got divorced. The Duchess of Sussex and the Markles have been estranged for a long time. After she gave birth to son Archie in May 2019 and daughter Lily in June 2021 without telling her father, Meghan's relationship with her father became more strained. Thomas commented on his daughter's character in the midst of rumors that Meghan and Kate were at odds. The Meghan he was reading about in the tabloids wasn't the same one he once knew, he claimed in an interview with the Mail on Sunday in 2018. The Meghan I knew always had a good heart and was giving. She was never rude, but she was always demanding. At the time, he told the newspaper, I don't want to say or do anything to damage my daughter, but I worry she's going to injure herself. In an interview with Inside Edition following Meghan and Harry's announcement that they will be leaving their positions as royals in January 2020, the Duchess half-sister discussed the couple's choice. It was a slap in the face, she told the media source. I think what is shocking is the lack of consideration for the people involved, the British royal family, the initial commitments to honour royal obligations and to lead by example, Samantha continued. While Meghan and Harry are leaving the royal family, Thomas said in a film for the ITV documentary Thomas Markle, My story, it's frustrating to me because she genuinely got every girl's dream. Every little girl dreamed of being a princess, and now that she has achieved that goal, she is discarding it. She appears to be throwing that away in exchange for cash. In the same month, Thomas spoke about the resignation on Good Morning Britain. What they have decided to do, in his opinion, is embarrassing. Thomas compared the royal family to a cult in an interview with The Sun. In August 2020, he told the press, they are either like the Stepford family or Scientologists. They simply lock the doors if they hear someone speak. They must speak up. Claims that the Church of Scientology is a cult have been refuted, they close the door, lower the blinds.